Guwati, Keshe, greetings, and welcome to the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center's commemoration of the Pueblo Community's King's Day celebrations. I am John Jahadi. I am from the Pueblos of Laguna and Zuni, and of the Turkey and Badger clans. I am the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center's Museum Cultural Educator. Before I begin, I would like to take a brief moment of silence to remember those whose lives have been lost and the families whose lives have been affected by the COVID-19 virus. It is my honor to tell you of the ceremonies and the history of our Pueblo King's Day ceremonies, which many of our Pueblo communities would be celebrating at the beginning of this new year. These ceremonies have been generational and uniquely integral to our Pueblo communities centuries before the founding of the United States, and certainly centuries before the coming of the first representatives of the encroachment of colonists of the Spanish crown. And so how is it that our Pueblo communities commemorate King's Day? These celebrations have evolved to take on the title of King's Day because of the Spanish occupation and the conversion to Christianity by Spanish priests. The King's Day celebrations are an acknowledgement and celebration of our Pueblo leadership. It is an acknowledgement of the fundamental sense of Pueblo society community servitude, and it is a proclamation of taking ownership of our Pueblo self-governance. It is a narrative of our Pueblo resilience and the continuance of our Pueblo communities, our Pueblo culture, our heritage, our legacy, and our human rights as Pueblo peoples. The Indian Pueblo Cultural Center exists for the fundamental purpose of perpetuating the lives and voices of those who have preceded the current day Pueblo communities of the state of New Mexico. It is their lives and voices that we celebrate by acknowledging the authority and the leadership of the incoming Pueblo governors and the Pueblo Council leaders that will be serving their term in the upcoming years. Democracy is not solely an Eastern Hemisphere construct. Our Pueblo leadership has had a narrative of collective and bipartisan inclusion, as well as a matrilineal inclusion within our communities since time immemorial. Although there is no written or whole account of recorded history of Pueblo governance, our Pueblo heritage tells us of diverse types of leadership. The most well-known and recorded account of Pueblo leadership is related to the Pueblo Revolt of 1680. Through the leadership of Pope, who is from the Pueblo of Okeowenge, the women and men of the Pueblo communities threw off the 80, year, 80 plus years of the harsh bondage of Spanish feudal rule in 1680. Eventual recognition by the Spanish crown and the four square leagues policy of the crown, a European sovereign, the Spanish king, identified and recognized the land occupation of our Pueblo ancestors and acknowledged a level of sovereign status, such that we as Pueblo peoples still reside on the land of our Pueblo predecessors. With the transition from Spanish colonial rule to the establishment of a sovereign Mexican state through Pueblo leadership and representation, that with the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1848 between the United States and Mexico, transferring the lands we now refer to as the states of Arizona, California, New Mexico, Texas, and parts of Nevada, Utah, and Oklahoma, that eventually the U.S., the United States government, acknowledged Pueblo land stewardship and occupation. And although from the very beginning, there have been continual public and legal battles over water, land, resources, as well as ancestral burial sites and antiquities, our Pueblo leaders have assumed the responsibility for ensuring the land the legacy, our cultures, our heritage, our languages, our and our Pueblo peoples are recognized, respected, and protected. An affirmation of this sovereign status and recognition began with the Spanish crown after 1680. Giving canes to the Pueblo leaders and our Hopi relatives in Arizona as a promise of honoring that recognition of sovereignty. 
much like a scepter, which is an ornamental staff, symbolic of sovereignty, the Pueblo Canes of leadership have and continue to serve and confirm and proclaim our Pueblo sovereignty and rights to self-governance. With the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo and Congressional Ratification, and as a sign of recognizing that sovereign status, President Abraham Lincoln in 1864 reaffirmed that status between Pueblo communities and the United States government with the giving of additional canes to each of the Pueblo leaders at that time so that the United States government would recognize that sense or that understanding of, of self-governance and, and sovereignty. These canes now are referred to as the Lincoln Canes. With this recognition, Pueblo leaders, working for the protection of the rights of our Pueblo communities, now can exercise that right to be heard in U.S. courts, to hold federal and state governments, as well as corporations, individuals, accountable to laws and rights afforded to any sovereign entity, especially as it applies to indigenous communities. These are the fundamental meanings, the base understanding in our, as Pueblo peoples, commemorating King's Day to all our Pueblo communities. Certainly, we acknowledge and commemorate the transition of new Pueblo leadership. However, it is the responsibility of our Pueblo leaders that when they assume these offices during their term in protecting and securing the rights of our Pueblo communities that King's Day events confirm. As Pueblo community members, we celebrate and pray that through wisdom and their guidance, it will be to the benefit of all, of all our Pueblo communities. Today, there are 19 Pueblo communities within the state of New Mexico. There are two other com Pueblo communities in different states, but they are their ancestral connection associates to those Pueblo communities that were here at the time the Spanish came. Each of our Pueblo communities is unique in our culture, our ceremonies, our core values, the leadership, and most importantly, the languages we speak. We celebrate, along with other indigenous peoples of Turtle Island, the lands of our planet Earth that were and continue to be occupied by many of our indigenous neighbors, that our rights to self-govern ourselves, to be respected of that right, to speak our language, and certainly our right to work to perpetuate all that is who we are. Certainly we understand that there are numerous societal, economic, political, and cultural challenges to our Pueblo communities as we look into the future. However, our hopes and expectations lie upon the leadership and guidance of our Pueblo leaders. We celebrate because we can. We dance because we can. We sing because we can. And we talk because we can. We as Pueblo peoples are of this place because of those who have preceded us. Thank you for joining us in our virtual commemoration of our Pueblo King's Day celebrations. We invite you to visit many of our other sections of the Indian Pueblo Cultural website. There are numerous opportunities for continued learning and virtual experiences on the Indian Pueblo Cultural website. We have a list of references and resources available to those who are interested in continued learning of our Pueblo communities. Connect with us through the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center website at indianpueblo.org. And so until we can meet and we can welcome you physically and greet you at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center, take care, be safe, and the best to you and yours for a peaceful new year. Thank you for joining us at the Indian Public Cultural Center.